Not a good sign. <laughs> Captain goes, folks, if you look to your right, you can see why we're not going anywhere. Great big thunderstorm coming up. Now, the man, the man next to me jumped up out of his seat, grabbed his overhead thing, threw his suitcase on the floor, got himself a great big bottle of Maalox and four little bottles of scotch. Which, Joe, right, <laughs> you're kind of flyer, huh? <laughs> Which he promptly down quit real fast. Now, this is a true story, I swear to you. Now, think about this. Would you say that he and I and about 200 people experienced a similar situation? We were all in the same situation, right? My first evaluation, my first conscious thought was, oh, geez, I'm going to miss my next plane. Then I said, cancel. Cancel. If you don't want to fly, you don't have to fly. You're here by, no one drug me in that airplane. I'm there by choice. And then I said to myself, if this is so inconvenient and you don't like to do this, you can stop flying. I can always sit in San Clemente right down the road here where I live and shrink heads. I have a license. I can still do that. I'm on that plane by choice. And if I don't like it, I can do what? Make another choice. See, life is not about fairness. Life is about choices. There's